I love RAM installation, RAM installation loves me. Follow along, it's easy, you'll see. A critical part of any successful RAM installation is picking the right memory. In this case, we need third generation DDR, DDR3. We can accept memory speeds up to 1866 megahertz, so we're gonna use 1600 megahertz memory, and voltage is key as well. This motherboard calls for anything at 1.65 volts or less, so our memory is rated for 1.5 volts, so that's just fine. If you wanna be 100% sure, you can check the QVL or qualified vendor list on the motherboard manufacturer website. However, a lot of the time, those lists are out of date and you're better off to just find something that has a specification that matches what your motherboard accepts and try it out. Now, most motherboards have tabs on both sides of the memory slot. This is to latch the memory into place. What you might notice, however, is that some motherboards only have a tab on one side. This is to reduce clearance issues with large video cards or other cards installed in the PCI Express slots. It doesn't really affect you with the procedure much, you just have to make sure that you're careful when you're installing in the side without a tab. Make sure it clicks all the way in. Once you have the correct memory, you need to identify the slots you're gonna install them in. This is a dual channel motherboard. You can tell because there are two of each color of slots. I recommend populating the slots that are further away from the CPU socket itself first because this reduces the chance of interference with, between your CPU cooler and the memory. It's optimal to fill all of a particular color before you start filling the others. So I'd install my first two sticks in the blue slots and my second two sticks in the black slots. Some motherboards actually have the slots labeled in microprinting on the board itself and this can help you if for whatever reason you can't tell from the color coding which one to use. Now this is the fun part where we actually install the memory. Pull back either one or two tabs depending on the type of motherboard you have. Position the memory inside the slot ensuring that the notch in the bottom of the module is aligned with the notch in the memory slot itself. Push it down gently. Now this is where the procedure differs. If you have a one latch slot, then what I usually do is I push in the non-latched side first to ensure it goes in all the way, then the other side. If you have two latches, then I push them both the same way. You can easily check the latch sides to make sure that they're in all the way by visually inspecting the latch itself. And for the other one, again, visual inspection or give it a quick push to ensure that the RAM is firmly seated. After that, you basically rinse and repeat until you've installed either your two sticks or your four sticks in the case of this motherboard. Then what you wanna do is boot up the system and use CPU-Z to verify that all of the memory is detected. You can also check in Windows to verify that all the memory is even being used. For example, Windows Home Premium won't detect more than 16 gigs of RAM. It is normal for the megahertz detected in CPU-Z to be one half of the advertised DDR speed because DDR1600 megahertz is double data rate 800 megahertz. Ah! Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of As Fast As Possible on Tech Quickie. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe and also don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. Share this video with anyone you think might benefit from it. And if you have any ideas for future episodes of Fast As Possible, Click the link in the description of the video and leave us a suggestion. We will make sure to monitor it and hopefully you'll see your idea soon. See you guys again next time.